Getting a CRM was a game changer in my web design business. I admittedly ran my business for years and years without one. So it's totally possible to run your business without a CRM, but it's a lot nicer with one. For the longest time, I was using a mashup of different softwares to get clients to sign contracts and then book appointments with me and then to pay their invoices. And then the worst of all was when a client forgot to pay their second invoice or their third invoice. And my old system didn't have the functionality to auto charge those future invoices to a client's credit card, which led me to chasing down my clients for payments. Now it was never out of malice that they didn't pay. It was just one task in a long list of tasks that they had to do in a day, but it was still very annoying to have to chase the payments. So today I want to show you the system which put an end to so much busy work. And that is my CRM system, HoneyBook. Now I should clarify, as I mentioned, you can totally run a business without a CRM, but I would say this one software is something worth investing in when you land maybe the first or the second client and therefore have a little bit of business budget for softwares like this one. This is genuinely a business expense that will definitely pay for itself monthly because of all the hours that it saves you. So yes, it'll cost you a few dollars a month, but yes, you will also spend way less time on all these other things and time is money, especially when you work for yourself. Okay, so in order to use a CRM system, you need to know your own onboarding process for clients. Let me share what mine looked like and then you can use that as a template. For me, step one was the client would inquire through a HoneyBook form on my website. Second, they would book in for a consultation call. Third, we would have that consultation call. And if I thought it was a project that I wanted to take on, I would tell them my next available design dates and then they would pick one of those dates. I would then send over their contract and invoice for that specific design date. And then step number four is that when they signed their contract and paid their invoice, my welcome package would automatically send to them, which would then walk them through the onboarding process through the PDF as opposed to me having to do it every time. Now notice the bit that is missing in this process and that is a price negotiation or a proposal. If you wanna know how I handle pricing and proposals, then definitely watch this video up here where I delve all into that. Basically, I found a better way that saves hours of just eliminating the entire proposal process for every single project. Okay, so let's look at this whole system inside of HoneyBook. Okay, so this is what my HoneyBook form looks like. So I take this form and I embed it onto my website. You can embed this onto any type of website, Squarespace, WordPress, show it, whatever you want, doesn't matter. So I ask my clients for a name, email, current website, if they have one so I can creep it. I also get them to select from the dropdown options of what they're looking for. Are they looking for just a website, a website and a brand, those sorts of things. I get them to tell me a little bit about their business and the website dreams. I ask how soon they would like their project to start if they say tomorrow and I'm booked for two months then I don't really need to take it further or I need to let them know beforehand that that won't be possible and this is my next available date and therefore are you okay with that? Should we still do this consult call? And then I also ask how exactly did they find the studio? That is important because then it shows me of all the marketing things which I'm doing in my business, which one should I continue with? If you always notice that your people are always coming from a blog or they're always coming from Instagram or something and you're doing five other things that maybe it's worth letting those other marketing strategies, just leaving them to rest and not continuing with them. So after I would say like a year, I would really go back and figure out where did everyone say that they're coming from? So that can help you determine what you should continue doing in the future. So let me fill this out real quick and then I will show you what happens next. So when I click the send button, then I automatically get brought to an appointment scheduler. So this is where they submit the form and immediately what I've done is in the back end of HoneyBook, you can say, okay, after they submit a form, where should it go? What should happen next? I've chosen to just get it go straight to an appointment scheduler. Now this is super helpful because previously it's like it sends an email and then they forget to schedule a call or you get back to them and then tell them to schedule a call and it's just really inefficient. So I just get it to go direct, submit the form, then I get them to schedule a call. It basically gives you all the options. I don't actually have any availability in here right now, but generally it would show like, okay, which are the days and times that you want to do the call at? They can schedule that thing. I get a notification on my phone. I get a notification to my email. And then I know I have an appointment scheduled with a potential client, which is always very exciting. So as you can see, this is super simplistic. From your client's point of view, it is just a very seamless, easy process. I actually had a brand photographer who I worked with and she was using HoneyBook. When I went through it, I was like, oh, that's actually really nice. <laughs> so that is basically the process and the end which your client sees. Okay. And then the next aspect of HoneyBook, which you can use it for is to send your invoices, get your contract, sign, 
get your auto payments to happen in the future, which is very convenient. So you can see in the back end of HoneyBook, I basically, I like created a template and then I can just duplicate this for future clients. It's very simple and convenient. It pops in all the different bits and pieces, which are important for me. I can then set up the payment schedule. In terms of the payment schedule, what you can do is you can decide, do I want it to be a custom date? Do I want it the date that the invoice is being sent? Do I want it to be a smart date? So that's like, okay, if the project starts on this date, then you could get it to be like so many days or months or weeks or whatever before or after that thing, which is very convenient. You can also have a mid project payment or on the project date. So there's a few different options of how you can set this up it's very convenient basically you can say like okay i always want to like midway through the project or whatever it is so once it knows your project date then it will fill in the rest of the bits depending on which option you choose here and then you can also change in here how many payments you want it to have it can divide it equally you can set it up to be custom so that it's a certain amount thousand dollars at the beginning then two thousand dollars every time after that or do you want it a percentage of the total project and do you want percentages to be different for each and every payment so you can make those choices yourself so that is my invoice that's beautiful and next thing is the contract so the thing which i also really like about honeybook is it has like a demo contract in here already for you which can be good for your first project i would suggest getting a legitimate like custom to the web design industry contract like long term but it is nice that it has one in there for you to get started on maybe your first project so anyways you can click these little bits and pieces here and then set the different dates you can put in the address all the bits and pieces for your client it automatically pulls say this section right here whatever is filled in into your invoice will pull into here and then it has the different terms and everything and the areas for your clients to sign. Go ahead and preview this. So you can see for your client, this is how their invoice looks. And then we go into next, they see what the contract looks like. And then finally we get to the actual payment section. So you can choose how you want your client to pay. So generally credit card is like the most convenient. Could also do bank transfer. They put in their credit card details and then this is the best part of the whole situation, use auto pay and never make a late payment. They can tick this little box right here. And then that means those future invoices, which you've set up, they don't need to come back and remember to put in their credit card details again, or remember to pay the next invoice. They can tick that and then it will auto pay the future invoices. And they've already seen the future invoices and everything. So truly it just makes it really convenient for them. So on your consult call, I would definitely suggest like, Hey, by the way, to make sure your project stays on schedule and so that you don't have the work down the road of having to remember to do this little task or whatever, just click auto pay at checkout and then it makes it super easy for the future ones. Now, after seeing that, you might be thinking, sounds amazing, but how much is this gonna cost me? HoneyBook costs $40 a month. Now think about it. Is your time worth $40 an hour as a web designer? And more likely than not, if you're a web designer, it is absolutely worth at least that. Most web designers, when they break it down hourly, are making more like $70 to $150 an hour. I found HoneyBook saved me hours on every single project. So to me, it was well worth the money. Once I got it, I genuinely never went back. Now, the extra good news for you is I actually have a special HoneyBook link which brings that down to $20 a month for the first year. So yes, half price for the first year. I'll pop the link for you up here and then also in the description below if you would like to make use of it and get 50% off. Now that is an affiliate link. So if you sign up through that link, I just wanna say my Margarita Fund thanks you in advance. However, even though you now have your fancy CRM system choice all set up, there's still a lot which can go off the rails when a project starts. If you don't ask your client the right questions at the beginning of the project, you'll end up like a lot of designers that I meet. And that is with a 54 long email thread going back and forth with your client, asking for bits that you should have collected at the beginning of the project. Watch this video next to learn exactly what you need to ask your clients for when you start a project with them.